Hey, what's going on, guys? John here for Streffer Paddock. I'm joined by Andy. Manchester United have just taken a 4-1 defeat against Watford. It was one of the most disappointing, abysmal, saddening days for Manchester United fans all over the world, I'm pretty sure. But Andy, just walk us through it. How would you feel about that game? I said this at halftime. This club will kill you. It, the, the management set up is like the walking dead. The team playing the last few games is like the walking dead. Nobody's taking any accountability. Whatever they're told, they're not doing. Individual mistakes, again. And a coaching setup that is academy level at best. And the writing's on the wall now. Uh, this No games in it. An easy three points in the Premier League. We know that. But Jesus Christ, man, this is Watford. I mean, for those of you guys who are probably watching at home and you feel like you need to protect all the Gunner Social, whatever you feel like you need to say about all the Gunner Social, for me at least, I just feel like it's kind of we're at the end here for all the Gunner Social. But with respect to the the sacking aspect, the 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 resignation aspect, do you think Manchester United board should do something tonight? Do you think they need to wait until the Villarreal result? What do you think? Oh yeah, yeah. Your stock exchange is gonna go down, and the New York stock exchange. You, you should know. I should. <laughs> Think Monday morning it's gonna drop some. Uh, yeah, could, could drop Tuesday, but um, they have to make a decision now. You can't go into a, a big game on Tuesday now. He has to be removed tonight. If he had any decency about him, he would have resigned. He would have resigned after the Manchester City game. But what did he do? What did the players do? What did the club do? They went hiding. Let's go on a holiday. Let's go on a winter holiday to Norway. I've got no problem with having a few days, but a full week, no training, no preparation. You come back on a Thursday and have a, a crisis meeting. Jesus Christ, there's going to be some fucking Zoom conferences meetings tonight from America with Edward Wood and uh, some owners, isn't there? And but if he leaves now, but if he leaves now, who's going to take over? Because there were people saying that maybe potentially Carrick could just sort of slot in for now, but... I don't think that's going to change anything with respect to what's going to happen on the pitch. You remove the training setup as well, mm. so you every you fired all that and he get, and and you keep the same. You keep McKenna feeling and Carrick. What good's that? What good is that? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you've got what you wanted. All he's gone now. All he's gone now. No, you need to remove the coaching setup. If it takes if it takes the reserve team coach to come in. Just for a couple of games, while you find somebody, you push, you push for Zidane tonight. You push it for him, pay whatever he wants, get him, give it him, just give it him for a few months and pay what, pay the man what he wants, see where he takes us. Because Chelsea did it last year. There's no guarantees in football, but Chelsea got to two finals and won the big one, didn't they? But you mentioned you mentioned a great name there. You mentioned Zidane. Obviously, there's lots of uh, conversations about Brendan Rodgers and, and lots of names on this sh on this potential shortlist. But we saw on that pitch today. We saw Harry Maguire absolutely classless. We expect him to be a leader on that pitch. Awful challenge in that second yellow card. Do you think a new manager coming in can change something like this? Because I just don't see how anybody can fix this squad right now. Serves him right. Serves him right. Hey, you scored a couple of goals. Hey. Giving it up, thinking you're big. I don't care, seriously, man. The guy's not worth 80 million. He was brilliant in the Euros. He was brilliant last season. All right, when we lost him, we lost the last few games. He wasn't, he wasn't, he didn't play in the Europa League final. But now his attitude is absolutely lousy. And I'm doing a high five at the end, coming up. I'm sorry, mate. I've just cost you your job. Why did Ollie do that? No, seriously, he needs dropping. He needs dropping, dropping, teach him a lesson. Luke Short. I think he's got another concussion now, so I think he's out Tuesday. Dullo, coming on for the last two minutes. We were still in it up to the last ten minutes. We had a couple of chances. Bruno had all the time in the world to do something, and he, he puts it into orbit again with his penalty against Aston Villa. Seriously, the team is on the floor. The club is on the floor. We had, Like I say, I can take the banter because I've given it out enough times. We had a laughing stock of world football. Ollie's at the wheel. And if you sing it at a certain pitch, it sounds like a fucking nursery rhyme and it's so fucking annoying. We, we deserve everything. Yeah, I know. It's getting thrown at us tonight. The fans don't deserve it, but the fucking club do. And then players should look at themselves. The only players I will fault, well, I'll give a bye tonight, are Donny van der Beek and Ronaldo. That's it. 
Maybe just really quickly, you could touch up on Donnie Van Der Beek's performance because I thought he had a fantastic contribution. Of course, Harry Maguire going down didn't make things any better for Donnie Van Der Beek, but I thought Van Der Beek, I thought Jaden Sancho in particular had a decent performance. Yeah. Can you just speak a little bit about that? Oh, yeah, he's brilliant. Sancho's performance for the goal, and he's put, he put in a cross from Ronaldo, should have scored, and that's an equaliser win with 10 men. But, uh, yeah, the, I will say Sancho, Donnie, and Ronaldo can hold the heads high. The rest of the team can jog on. If you don't want to play for Man United, mate, just go out the door. And players, well, if Ali goes now, it looks like this is the end game. Uh, he's not Thanos with the Infinite Stones anymore. He's done, he's finished. And whoever comes in, whether it be an interim, a reserve coach for the next couple of games, because uh, we could be at the Champions League by Tuesday. You and Aldo in the... Ronaldo in the Europa League, man. That is absolutely fucking disgraceful to a fucking legend. Yeah. And he, at least he, he's, he's been treating some of these players with absolute contempt. Just blagging them off and blagging them off. And you could, even when Jesse Lingard come on, why, why are you putting me on, man? You could see it in his body language, in his face. And at the end, why am I here? And Ali walks over to the fans. <laughs> That's you done, mate. Thanks for your service. We love you. You've done what you've you've done what you've had to do. You've steadied the ship. Now whoever comes in next has got to take this attitude still. This this happy position we had up till a few weeks ago and carry it on. Otherwise, believe me, mate, we won't finish top 10 this season. Are you confident at all? I mean, just maybe we could wrap up, wrap, wrap this conversation up. Obviously, with Ali Gunnar Solskjaer, it looks like his sacking is going to be inevitable at this point. Are you confident at all? We still have that really diff difficult December period to go past. We still obviously have to qualify for the Champions League knockout stages. Lots of difficult obstacles to overcome. Are you confident at all that even with Ali Gunnar Solskjaer gone, Manchester United can somehow salvage this season? We were supposed to be title challenges this season. Ali even said it. The club even stated it. What's our challenge now? Top four. Europa League at best. Win an FA Cup. Yeah, I would love to win the FA Cup, but with a new management set up. Champions League. You could end up in Europa League. You know what? I'm, I'm, this club, it, it, it hurts. It, it really hurts. Emotionally, mentally, it drains you. And if, like I say, if Ali had any decent set, he would have gone after the derby. That's it. You're done. Thank you. We love you. Avida Zane. Get back on the plane and go back to Norway. Guys, that's it for Mandy. That's it for me for today. Thanks for thanks for tuning in, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet done so. Hit that like, subscribe. Make sure you comment. Let us know what your thoughts were on the match tonight. And that's it from us today. Thank you very much.